Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to design a beautiful wedding invitation for free using Canva. Canva is a free online app that you can use. You can also download on your mobile phone. Um, you don't have to have the paid account to do a lot of these free edits. Um, as you can see here, out of all of these on my screen, this is the only one that's the paid version. And if you really want that one, it's, it's actually not very expensive to get this design app. It's only about $29.99 a month. So if you're interested, you can just uh, click on the link below to create your very own account or just log in if you already have one and then I would go into Canva search for wedding invitations now you, the size doesn't really matter if you have the pro account um, otherwise if you like portrait you can search for portrait if you like landscape you can search for landscape um, and then you'll see that in here there are tons and when I say tons I'm gonna show you there are almost 10,000 templates that you can use uh, for your wedding invitation. These are already pre-made, so you don't have to do a lot. You can just go in without any design experience and then save a lot of money down the road because you can just save this as an image, run to your local print shop to get these printed, or even you can even use Canva and ask them to print it for you and then that ship it to right to your door. So it saves you a lot of time and money that you can spend on other aspects of your wedding. As for the design, I recommend choosing something that works with your wedding theme. So if you're doing a wedding on the beach, then something fun and matching it would be nice. If you're doing an outdoor uh, farm wedding, this one might look good too. Um, if you have lots of flowers, if something means a lot to you, you can also add pictures. You know, there's so, so much that you can do. And then you can also uh, make a matching save the date. Um, all of that can be done within Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one, as you can see here, a very simple one. Um, some of these I think you might know is a little bit outdated, but uh, we're going to pick one that we can play around with. So let's go with this one right here. It's green. It's a good spring sort of uh, wedding or maybe winter. So when you click on this, this one is free. It doesn't have the crown. It means we can customize this uh, template. And when you click on that, it's going to open a new um, page here. And this is where you can go in and change the text. So you would change it to your names, change it to your dates, um, and then change any color that you don't like. So let's say you're like, ah, I don't really like this green. Can I make it blue? In fact, you can. You just click on that background color and change it to a color to your liking. So you can make it slider, um, and then make the text darker. You can make this a little bit more... Um, sort of this other green i think i like that a little bit better um and then if you're like i don't really like how my name looks right can i change that um you can just see here when i click on this um this top bar pops up it is the font style font size font color um you can add bullet points if you want but <laughs> i'm not sure why you would do that um and then i click on breathing here that is the font name and then I would just scroll down to see like which one works. Um, anything with the crown is for the paid version. And if you do want the paid version, it's only cost about $12.99 a month. So um, you can definitely just sign up once, have some fun with it, and then um, cancel the subscription. Um, but here, if you're having a tough time choosing the font, I would um, recommend, as, as they do up here, type calligraphy or handwriting. And it's going to pop up all of the high um, handwriting fonts. Um, like so. So you're like, ah, oh, this one looks a bit better. Let's use this. And then if this one's too small, you can just drag the corners of the text box and make it a little bit bigger. And then move the text by clicking on it and dragging it back and forth. Um, the best part about this is that it's really easy to edit this, edit this on your phone on mobile. So if you do have uh, Android or iPhone, I, I highly recommend you download as well. And if you're a creative person with some design experience, I recommend just adding a blank page, right? Make this a white canvas. And then you would go into elements and search up things that you want to add. So let's say you do want to add some flowers. Um, you would just click on um, here, elements, search up flowers, click on graphics. And there's tons of flowers that you can use. And if you know a specific flower that you love, so let's say you love tulips, Right, you can add tulips to your wedding invitation, uh, keeping that simple there. Um, there's more that you can add, so there's pictures, so I would search up like, like a frame. Oops. 
search up frame and you can see you can add more photos so if you want a photo of your engagement um, you can do that so that's just a frame that I can just drop a picture so let's say I'm just gonna look for a couple <laughs> right now um, search photos and here you are let's say that's my engagement photo and then I would move this bring right click and bring forward and it'll be on top of my wedding photo and then you can start adding more and more and more um, that is the fun part and if you change your mind and you hate this right here it's so easy to find a different template you just go to design and then search for a wedding invitation or just search for a wedding um, scrolling down you'll see there's tons of that different ones that you can use there's some really uh, culture appropriate there's really um, some nice blue, some floral, some classic, some gold and black, you know, um, some save the dates as well. So if you want to create a matching card of people saying yes or no, or like um, their response, you can do that too. Um, I do recommend just checking out what they have. Tons of these are free, as you can see here. Um, like this one's free. This one's free. <laughs> a lot of free images. And then once you add all the necessary details for your wedding, uh, such as saving the date, uh, time, location, RSVP information, uh, if you want to do this front and back, you can too. Um, you're done. You, you can click on print invitations up top and Canva will be able to print this for you. As you can see, the price for 50 invitations is $43 uh, with free delivery. So that's pretty good. And there is a front and back option too. So you can play around and see like different costs. And let's say you're inviting like 250 people. That's under 200 bucks delivered right to your door. And then you can see the preview here, what it will look like. Uh, <laughs> this is not part of my design, but um, so this is to show you what you can do. And then if you opt to not print with Canva, what you can do is click on share uh, and then click download. And now you can just uh, download these pages as um, different types of images. So there's JPEG, PNG, uh, PDF standard and PDF print. Uh, recommend it to stick to PDF print and then run it to your local shop. So let's say you want to get these printed at Staples and then just um, hand cut them yourself or have them cut them. Um, it's really available. I wish you luck and um, hopefully this video has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me uh, leave me a comment down below. And uh,